Hey guys, welcome to another one of our videos and uh, yeah, let's do some long range egg plinking. Hey guys, it's James here from Replica Reviews. Now, I was sent a picture the other day um, of a challenge that was set down on one of the Facebook pages and somebody wanted to see somebody shooting with a 12 foot pound rifle egg size targets between 60 and 90 yards. Now, I'm always one for a bit of a challenge and I'm always one for making myself look a bit daft. So what we've done today is we've come up the farm on this rather windy day, you might be able to see in the hedges behind us. Um, it's, it's gusting like crazy, so I'm not really sure how well this is gonna work. So we've come up today with the rifle and we've got loads of kit down behind us. We've got range markers um, and we thought we'd take them up on the challenge. Now, we weren't quite sure what constituted an egg size target. So I did the only thing I could think of and I went down to Tesco's and uh, picked up some finest free range, medium size eggs. Now it blew my mind. I didn't realize there was different sizes of eggs. So we picked up a load of those, we've got 12, and we made up a load of range markers. So we're going to start at 30 yards and we're going to work out in 10 yard increments. Um, so 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And I've also made one for 100 yards. Now you've all seen the video before, hopefully with this shooting at 100 yards, it is capable of doing it on a range. Now it's worth noting that particular day, it was still, we're on a range surrounded by trees and all sorts. Um, today we're out on the farm just getting blown around so it's going to be interesting now in the interest of trying to keep this as real world as possible you'll see i don't have a bipod mounted on the bottom of the wildcat we are going to be shooting off uh, primos trigger sticks when we're out hunting that's what i use all the time uh, when i'm using this gun if i've got the hw i use a harris bipod but i don't really want to drill the stock on this because it's just it's sleek and it's ball pop and it's amazing so we're just keeping it as it is so what we're going to do is um We'll set the cameras up. We've got the targets being put out now. Paul's setting them out now as we speak. Um, and I'm going to try and film pretty much me laying down and the target. So you'll be able to see. Because one of the things on the, the post was it had to be unedited. So uncut and, you know, none of this rubbish of people saying, oh, yeah, I hit 150 yards. And you look at it and, no, it didn't happen. Now, what we're going to do is, like this I say, I'm going to show you the whole clip. So you'll be able to see me and the target in one frame. Um, and depending on how it goes, I'll put the camera down at the target end as well and we'll film the target looking back at me as well, give a bit of a different perspective. But I am going to cut between ranges because obviously setting things up and it's going to take forever and nobody wants to sit and have to click through trying to work out where on the video the next shot's going to be. So we're going to kind of keep it condensed but you will be able to see the shots in their entirety to prove that we are doing it. Because um, I know on a good day we can do it and yeah, in the wind it's going to be fun. But anyway. Let's, uh, no pun intended, but let's crack on and uh, yeah, let's get to the fun bit. Okay guys, so those of you that uh, maybe want to see a little bit of a close up of the guns, um, we've got the Wildcat on the bottom that you've just seen in the intro. Um, as I said earlier, sports match mounts and a hawk sidewind on the top. And we've got a little spirit level on the top. Um, it just alleviates, sort of makes it easier for me to see what's going on canting, whether I'm holding the rifle straight and whatnot. And um, we'll be resting that one with the Primos trigger sticks that you can see on the bottom there. And at the top, just in case uh, I'm not feeling it with the, the Wildcat, we've also bought out the HW100 today. Um, now, again, very, very similarly finished. Um, we've got the Hawk Sidewinder on the top. Again, sports match mounts um, and their little SP2 bubble mount on the top. Uh, I've changed the Vire Art Moderator um, purely, it was more of me being a bit of a magpie. The, the HW mod is quieter, um, but the Hug It Belita that you can see on the end there, just is, it, it just looks the business. It's a really, really nice um, moderator. And then, as I said, we've got uh, 12 of England's finest free-range eggs on the side there. Um, so it's the first time, as I say, I've ever had to buy eggs. Um, so it's been a bit weird. I didn't realise they come in sizes. Um, the other option, the plan B, was to use ostrich eggs. Um, but we thought that might constitute cheating slightly, so we didn't uh, didn't go for those in the end. Um, and the only other ones were the quail's eggs. We did debate a quail egg at 100 yards. Um, and then we saw the weather this morning, and it's, it's not happening. So anyway, let's get on with the fun bit. All right, guys, as you can see, we've got uh, targets set out. Um, the white things that you can see there are basically range indicators. When we walk up in a minute, you'll be able to see. The first one on the very far left, 30 yards, and then 40, 50, 60, and so on. We've got them out to 70 yards at the moment, so we'll do those ones first, and then uh, we'll crack on with the long range ones, move the camera up, point it back down here so you can see, uh, see the, the true distance, because as you might be able to see, they just disappear. That one up there is 100 yards. So yeah, let's crack on.
Okay, so walk in. 30 yards. Still walk in. Jesus Christ, whose idea was this? 40 yards. If we open that. Ta da! 50 yards. And here's where the ch challenge officially started. So it was 60 to 90, I think, was the original post. 60 yards, blown to pieces. I think this was a bit of a graze, but a hit's a hit. This one here, he's off the tee. Yeah, there we go. That was a hit, wasn't it? Happy days. So let's load up for 80, 90, and then we'll finish off on 100. Right, so, just walked up to target, just to double check, 90 yards, one very destroyed egg, and then we were, let's see if the zoom works, zooming, 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 that was my firing position, just down the bottom there, you can just see the rifle if it zooms in. Alright, so what we're going to do is say goodbye to 90 yards. And we are going to move up to 100 yards. So what I'm going to do is I've got the big tripod with me here. I'm just going to turn this range marker around and put the camera somewhere that I don't think is going to get shot. And yeah, let's do this. Okay guys, so here we are at 100 yards. It's worth noticing I haven't practiced 100 yards probably since the last time we filmed a video for it. So I'm just going to walk down, quickly turn that target, run back down to the bottom, or we'll probably not run, more of a dawdle. Um, and then yeah, let's see if we can finish off on 100 yards. Okay guys, so at closer inspection, what looks like has happened is I've come in just below and I've nicked the tee and I've hit it, you know, it, it, it has been struck, um, but I'll be honest with you, until it explodes, I think I'm going to keep going. Um, there we go. It's back up there at 100 yards, so the target the stays all the way down there. As you can see, I've swapped guns, um, the FX has been a bit of a pig. Um, the holdovers are all over the place, so we've got the, the HW out, um, and lo and behold, it is bang on. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's try and actually make it explode. Hitting it and knocking it off, no, that doesn't, doesn't count in my eyes. Take two. Okay, so the results of take two, where is it? There we go. Can't deny that, straight in wherever that was in the relation of stuff. And there's a hundred yards from down by the gateway. Yeah, I'm happy with that, I surprised myself there. <laughs> okay guys, so there we have it. That is shooting egg size targets, commonly known as eggs, from 30 to 100 yards. Um, uh, I've got to be honest, it was a bit of a fun one. When I saw the, the chance to try this one out um, coming up, I thought, well, why not? Um, you know, shooting, we take it seriously all the time. Sometimes it's nice to come and try and, and plink out this range. Now, I won't go into the rights and wrongs of shooting quarry at various range. I know, target-wise, um, we can hit 100 yards quite happily. You've seen it in the videos, you've seen it here today. Without too many problems, you know, 100 yards is easy. Would I ever hunt at this range with a sub-12? 
absolutely not and basic maths would soon tell you that you know it's just not humane now the uh, the Bryce and the, the keen Ida you may notice this isn't uh, a wild cat um, I actually have uh, sort of range markers and little target cards with my holdovers printed on um, and we're on a slight hill and the, it's, it's thrown the ranges out a little bit so we went back to the HW I've had far better success with the HW um, than others as you can hear it's blowing a gale so to hit anything I've been quite impressed um, but as I say the HW100 continues uh, to kind of prove itself in my opinion as the best air rifle I think I've ever owned um, better than my Airwolf, better than my Wildcat. We've only got to wait for the FX Impact to arrive at some point. Um, yeah, it might be, it might not. If you've enjoyed what you've seen, obviously feel free to subscribe. Any questions, any comments, chuck them in the box below. I would really strongly urge you guys, go and buy some eggs, get some golf tees, and come out on your local permission and just have a bit of fun. Um, filming this this morning has probably been the most fun I think I've had with an air rifle for quite a while. When it's your job, when it's your hobby, it, and when you're doing it on YouTube, it kind of loses its fun. So to come out and do something like this has just been an absolute, yeah, it's been brilliant. So anyway, guys, as I say, any questions, chuck them below. Thank you very much for watching. We'll have more videos coming soon. Um, I've just got to quickly edit a couple more that we've got. Um, pistols, got the, the video from Cyprus coming up as well. So we've got loads more coming. So anyway, stop me waffling on. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys, and uh, thanks for watching. shot.